In this video, I'll be taking a look at the Avio 7 inch portable digital TV, and this is the 7 inch model. They do make this in a 4 inch model. The main difference is the screen is 4 inches compared to 7 inches. But one of the main differences between the 4 inch model and the 7 inch model is that the 7 inch model, which you're seeing right here, has a built in battery that is non removable that does uh, have to charge up. And the 4 inch model takes uh, four AA batteries that are removable and you can change them, but they're not rechargeable batteries. So that's the main difference between the 7 incher or the 4 incher. Do you want to go, uh, go with one that doesn't have a removable battery, but you can charge it? Or do you want one that can't be charged but takes AA batteries? It's really just up to you. So anyway, on the front of this uh, TV, you do get a nice 7 inch uh, screen on the front. Now moving to the right side, you, get, you do get all your input buttons. You get a button for your menu, your input, your enter button. Then you get a big D-pad for your channel button, channel up, down, left and right. It is clickable. And then over here, you got your volume up, volume down, and then you got your IR blaster. If you want to use a remote control on this TV, you can. And that's pretty much all on the front of this uh, Avio TV. All your buttons are on the right side, and then the rest of it's taken up by the... Uh, screen right there the seven inch screen and then moving to the right side of the tv you do got your uh, sp uh, speaker grill for the right speaker and then on the other side you do got your uh, left speaker for your uh, uh, left uh, side and then you do got a uh, headphone jack if you want to plug in headphones it is 3.5 millimeter so you don't have to plug in any uh, adapters or anything for your headphones you can use standard headphones then over here, you do got AVN. Basically, what AVN lets you do is it lets you plug in any uh, DVD players or any game consoles that run on red, white, and yellow. You're good to go. And then over here, you got your DZN. Like I said, this is the rechargeable one with the rechargeable battery pack, a sealed battery pack inside. So you do have to charge it. It takes around three to four hours to charge this TV up. And that's pretty much on the front of it. And, uh, if you're wondering about the quality of this, this is made out of a plastic build, so it is all plastic, except for the back. The back of this TV is made out of rubber, and I'll go ahead and show you that in a second. On the bottom, just got two uh, rubber feet, so you can put it down on like a desk or a table really nicely. And then moving on to the back of it, like I said, it is made out of rubber, so the back of it is a rubber material, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, uh, see it that well, but it is a rubber material. Then it does got a... Change battery before use and it got all your other information over there and then there's little holes so it'll uh, let the air out little ventilation holes as you can see them there's about maybe 50 ventilation holes on here and then on the back it does got a stand so if you want to put it on a table you can the stand does snap out really clean and nicely right here I'll go ahead and snap this uh, stand out there's a stand it stands out and then you put it on the table like I just had it at the beginning of the video there it is clicks in, it clicks in place and there's a stand that's pretty much on this and on the top of course you do got your uh, antenna for this TV it's just a standard uh, ant antenna that pulls out now this uh, this antenna does uh, unscrew I won't unscrew it on video because it's kind of tricky to unscrew but this uh, antenna does unscrew so if you want to uh, plug in a uh, plug in a cable line you can for straight uh, cable TV you can run cable TV on this model, which is really nice. So if you want to unscrew this and plug in a cable line, you can. I've tried it out, and it works very, very good. The cable line does work very good. So this is a combination of plastic and rubber materials made for this TV. It, it does feel nice in the hand. It's not really too weighty. It's not really too heavy. But this TV is pretty large, as you can see. It is pretty thick. You will have to carry it around in a backpack probably because it is pretty thick. Now I'll go ahead and show you some of the stuff that comes in the box with this TV. Now with this TV, you do get a remote control to remote control this TV. If you're, if you're sitting from a distance, you can remote control this TV. There's a remote that comes in the box. A small little credit card remote. The next item you get in the box, you do get a, a card charger for this TV. It's not really necessary to have this car charger, and I'll explain in a second, but here's the car charger for this uh, TV. And the next thing you do get out of the box, 
you do get your uh, red, white, and yellow, so you can hook up stuff to the uh, AC, uh, ACN if you want to plug in DVD players, game systems, anything that runs off of red, white, and yellow, you can right here. This plugs into the TV on the side, and this plugs plugs into whatever. If you're using a game system or a DVD player, just plug them in according to the uh, uh, colors. And then the last thing they do give you in the box, besides the charger, they do give you a charger. I don't have it right here to show you because it's currently in the other part of the house. But they do give you an external antenna, so if you don't want to use that antenna, if you're getting weak signals, you can use this bigger antenna, which is pretty nice. It just screws in the same uh, the same spot where that one plugs in, which is very nice. It does come in the box. Very nice. It just sits on sits on a desk, and you just screw this in to where the ex uh, uh, other antenna is, and you're good to go. Now, uh, one reason you really don't need the car charger, like I was saying before, is... This is a digital TV, and one thing about digital TVs compared to analog portable TVs back in the day, the digital TVs do not work while you're moving the TV around. So you can't be uh, like walking around watching TV, or you can't be like in a car watching TV because the signal will chop and start getting pixelated. So that's no good. So really, it's not really a. There's really no need of a car charger unless you want to charge it in the car while you're at someone's house and they don't have a wall outlet or you're at a hotel and they don't have a, a wall outlet or something and you want to use your car you can charge it in your car but for the most part you won't be watching this TV in your car or walking around anywhere because uh, digital signals uh, get choppy as you walk around they're not good stable I mean they're not good uh, mobile so you can't really be moving with this TV you have to have it steady like on a desk or anywhere uh, steady if you have it anywhere like on a table then you'll be pretty much good to go you just can't be walking around with this TV or you'll get a uh, pixelation, which kind of sucks. And uh, I'm not going to turn this TV on because I don't get any reception in this, uh, in my area, which kind of sucks. I'm pretty far away from all the digital signals. That if it's just one downside. So if I turn on the TV, I'll just get a black screen and it'll, it'll tell me the channels on top of channel 12, 2, 3 or whatever. But I'll just get a black picture and you don't really want to see a black picture. And uh, overall, this TV is a very good TV if you... Uh, in the right area if you're not in the right area like me it's kind of a downer but then again you can plug in cable TV now the battery life on here as terms of using it is about I have to say two to three hours the battery life on here is not great at all it does take three to four hours to charge like I said it's a pretty quick charging time but then the usage of it's not that good it's like two to three hours it didn't really impress me in terms of portability if you're gonna take this to someone's house or something I suggest you get a, a wall uh, the charger that come in the box and plug it in the wall because uh, this uh, TV has very bad uh, battery life, uh, which is kind of which is a kind of a downer. And the battery isn't the battery is in, uh, sealed up in the case, so you can't change it, which is also a downer. But for the most part, you won't be moving this TV around anyway, like in your hand or walking around and stuff. So you'll mostly be sitting it on a desk where you're close to a wall outlet anyway. Overall, this is a very good TV. I highly uh, suggest checking this out. This is a very good TV. Once again, this is the Avio 7-inch uh, portable digital TV. Very good TV. Especially if you're a person that has like a little small PS2 Slim or anything like really small and you want to plug it in the, plug it in the AVN. You can watch a DVD or play a game system. It's pretty cool. Overall, I give this a score uh, 8.5 out of 2. A very good TV. Only downfall is that you can't walk around or watch it in a car. Unlike the old analog TVs where you could uh, walk around or, or uh, watch them in a car. So, this TV is not good for uh, trips in the car or anything too much moving around. But overall, this is a good TV set. I highly do recommend getting this TV set. Once again, I give this an 8.5 out of 10. A very good TV. It just depends on whether you want... Removable, removable batteries are an internal battery that can't be removed and the screen size which is a 4 and a 7 they do make two models like I said at the beginning of the video a 4 inch and a 7 inches and that's pretty much all for this Avio TV I hope you liked my review peace out I'll see you guys later in my next video